Studio East youth performers played to sold-out audiences at the Kirkland Performance Center this summer. Mayor Amy Wallen and City Manager Kurt Triplett did their part for the arts by joining the production and learn a thing or two from the young acting troupe. Aren't you going to put your wig on for this uh, piece? Should I? No. <laughs> What's it been like to work with the kids? The kids are amazing. They're so full of energy and enthusiasm and every time we're done with the show they're more energized and I'm exhausted. So. It's uh, been very fun to watch and learn from them. Well, the kids are really tolerant. That's my impression. They are very uh, kind to those of us who yes. struggle a little bit with the performing arts. But if I get it right, they high five me and they give me notes afterwards. Like, oh, maybe a little bit sooner, a little bit later. They're good kids. So, so what do you say before the show? Is that you know, break a leg? Break, break a leg. leg. Break, yes, a break a leg. leg. Real life mayor Amy Wallen played the mayor of Munchkin Land. Yes, let the glorious news. along with State Representative Joan McBride and City Manager Kurt Triplett in the Lollipop Guild. We caught up with Lonnie Brockman, Executive Artistic Director of Studio East, a Kirkland-based nonprofit providing theater arts education and opportunities for children in Kirkland and surrounding communities. We rehearse about eight weeks for the summer teen program. We start putting the show together and we're piece by piece, like act one on one day finding the transitions because the transitions as they f you flow into the in scene to scene are really what helps tell the story. Starting with one theater program for teens in 1992, Studio East has become one of the largest children's theater training programs in the Seattle metro area. So we are going into our 24th season and we've been in three different locations. The current location is our biggest, biggest space, which is great. And then of course we're at the Kirkland Performance Center during the summer with Storybook Theater. What's next, I think, is finding um, a permanent home and uh, so that the studio outlasts me. It's about the community that has become this place and how we all feed each other and grow together. Studio East actors from the production pitched in and volunteered their time at Summerfest once again this year. And now I've got a couple of them in the Tin Man costume and the Lion costume. We had Dorothy earlier and then they've each volunteered an hour of their time to get all hot and sticky um, and let the kids and adults draw them. They love it and I love seeing them participate in this community. It's, it's great. <laughs> 